Welcome into this True Blue preview. Right now we take a look at Kevin Knox, one of the freshman Wildcats, and all of them come in with their own influences. Many of them, maybe it's an NBA player like LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, somebody like that. No, not for Kevin Knox. Instead, it is his father, Kevin Knox Sr., who played at Florida State. I was about 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, so you had an idea. Your dad probably said, hey, you're going to be a tall kid. Oh, yeah. He, I was growing. I had my growth spurts all the time in the summer. He knew it was coming soon. Uh, tell me about this cookie thing, Nick, and mm -hmm. some other guys made you about, uh, about trying to Oh, yeah, when we was at, I think it was McDonald's All-Americans, we went to the Ronald McDonald house, and that's when I haven't committed yet. And we were designing cookies, and Nick and Quade and all them dudes put UK on the cookies and with blue icing and kind of gave it to me as a present. It basically recruit me. It was kind of funny. Everybody was taking pictures and everything, but it, it was good. It is funny. It is funny. Yeah, it was funny. I laughed about it everything. They wanted me to eat the cookies, but I didn't eat them. I didn't eat them. Did somebody spell something wrong? Uh, I think it was uh, Nick. Nick put BB... Uh, BBK or something like that. He tried to put BBN, but he put BBK or something like that, and everybody was picking on him. Well, okay, he's from Jamaica. <laughs> Give him a break, right? <laughs> he probably didn't. He probably he said he said he put BBN, but somebody messed it up. I was like, you can't mess up icing. You would see it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he was messing up and somebody tried to race it, you would see it smeared on there. But he was like, oh, no, I was messing around. I was like, dude, you're not messing around. <laughs> it's all no. fun and games. Yeah, it was. The person that's influenced you the most in life is? My dad. Because? Uh, he's been with me my whole life. I mean, a lot of people don't grow up with dads like that. My dad's been with me. Work ethic, that's something that he's really big on. He pushes me to the limit every time we work out. When you work out at an early age with your dad, mm -hmm. I find that, that, that kids, and don't take kids the wrong way, I'm just mm -hmm. a guy, yeah. but, but, but kids who come from families where somebody was special in the family, like mm -hmm. your dad was, yeah. they seem to adjust to the pressure of sports mm -hmm. easier because you're taught at an early age. Does that make sense? And is it yeah. true with you? Uh, yes, my dad's been to the highest level. He won national championship. He's been drafted, so he knows what it takes to get there. So at an early age, he started working me out hard, uh, pretty much going. Everybody playing video games, hanging out with their friends. I was on the football field or on the basketball court working out. So, and my dad's crazy too. He loved to scream, yell, jump around, and that's similar to Cal. So, I definitely got I definitely got that teaching pretty early. So I'll be used to it when Cal does it. Yeah, and you know Cal hasn't really done it yet. Oh yeah, he hasn't even started yet. To be honest, a lot of players said it gets crazy when the season starts. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Who do you think is going to be worse, your dad or Cal? Uh, Cal watched my dad coach my little brother, and he said that my dad's worse than Cal. <laughs> he's going to say that too, right? Oh, yeah, he's probably he's definitely going to say that. But Cal, he screams, jumps, sweating, suits, and everything. So we're going to see. I'll, def I'll be the judge of that at the end of the season. And I will remember to ask you about a week into practice <laughs> we when will. you come out and talk to us. Okay, you met Cal. Your instant reaction was? Mm -hmm. Great guy, great sense of humor. Uh, says what's on his mind. What makes you such a good player? Uh, I'm just an all-around player. A lot of people say I'm positionless. I can do play pretty much any position, one through four, one through five, uh, get rebounds, push the basketball, be able to handle it, shoot it for my size, and that's something a lot of pair, uh, people like. Come on. Now, on this level, mm -hmm. if you have to, you can take the ball off the rack and you can push it up court on yep. a fast break Yep. at 6'9". At 6'9". Really? Yes, sir. That's something about this team that's really special. We have like four or five dudes that are like 6'8", six, 6'9", six, that could be able to handle the basketball for rebounds. So it's going to make us real special this year. Who's the best dunker on the team? Tom Dew. He's like a 45-inch vertical. 44, I think he was measured. I mean, if you got a 44-inch vertical, yeah, you definitely. I think he has the highest on the team, of course, yeah. Does he do some stuff that, I don't mean stupid in a bad way, mm -hmm. but is it kind of stupid? Does he go, oh my gosh, how did he do it? I mean, when you see him dunk, it's so powerful. You're like, wow, that, that was pretty nice. <laughs> you think about the national championship much? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I just take each game at a time. We haven't even started official practice yet, so I'm not really worried about none of that. I'm just worried about practice and ready for the first game, I think, which is Vermont. What put you over the hump to come here? I mean, a lot of people said that I wasn't Crystal Paul to go here, but like I tell people, I mean, the Crystal Paul has nothing to do with that's going inside your house, so they don't know what's going on my mind and my family's mind. So. I mean, I just feel like this was the best school for me. Uh, Coach KP and Coach Cal came and visited me a lot. I just feel like their, their vision for me was the same vision as I want. Okay, so now you're looking at a tape of yourself mm -hmm. and play Dick Vitale. Don't yeah. have to impersonate mm -hmm. it, but when you see, let's say, a minute of tape of you, yeah. what are you? What do you look like? What do you do on the court? I do everything. I mean, when you see my mixtapes, you see a lot of shooting, a lot of dunking, dribbling. And I mean, I just think that I'm a really pretty much an all-around player that can pretty much do anything. When did you start dreaming about playing the NBA? I think that when I started playing football, I mean, I committed myself to basketball. I think that's when I really decided that I really wanted to play in the NBA. How old were you when you quit football and what position did you play? I was a sophomore in high school when I stopped playing. I played quarterback. That's what I heard. Yep. I'm How tall were you? 
I was 6'6 when I stopped playing. Yeah. Could you throw a ball like 60, 70 yards? Yeah, I, I could pretty throw it. I had a lot of colleges that really interested in me. A lot of in, I was ranked actually as a quarterback. So, I mean, I could have went either way, but basketball was a sport I wanted to go. Not only that, but you don't get hit on your knees. Not, not that much. I mean, my line wasn't that good. So, I mean, I had to do a lot of scrambling. <laughs> what is the best thing about being here? Uh, I mean, just the atmosphere. The fans is ridiculous out here. I mean, it's really competitive out here. Coach Cowley is pushing me to the hardest. I mean, every day I'm going against six, seven McDonald's All-Americans, really competitive, so you can't go wrong with that. It's so cool to see a kid like Kevin Knox have a great influence and for that influence to be his father. That'll do it for this True Blue preview. Many more on LEX18.com.